Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom. Now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt a hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Bugs and welcome to tips and tricks on everything you need to know before you play Rumbleverse. And let's get straight into the video guys. Now first we're going to be starting off with all the fighting moves in this game and let's get straight into it. First we have attack, running attack, jumping attack, charge attack, special attack, grab, running grab, jumping grab, special grab, super grab, blocking, weapon attack, weapon grab throwing you could throw boxes in this game books in this game weapons even a fucking car okay i might be lying about that one maybe there's a little bit of exaggerations but yeah <laughs> and then of course the final i guess not really a move but what still like an attacking is third party uh moving on from that is we have perks so these perks are like bonus abilities whether it comes from you healing by standing still healing by doing damage uh, stand amount reduction, all these extra bonuses just to help you in your fights. And how do you attain these perks? Is by doing damage. There's no real, there's no really like specific way of getting certain perks. Yes, I know I said it incorrectly. I apologize. I don't know. I just can't say it. But um, yeah, there's no certain way of like doing a certain move over and over and actually getting the perks as I thought it was at the beginning. But watching videos back over and over. Hey, future Bugsy here. Yeah, I just want to say that it was a coincidence. You know, all perks are random just by damage. There's no doing this move and that move to get anything and continue. But yeah, just doing damage over time is how you obtain these perks and definitely beneficial. So this game really rewards you for fighting. Uh, moving on from perks, we have stat boosters. So there are three different powders that you could drink in this game to increase your stats. One is called arms powder for strength, legs powder for stamina, and core power for health. So now how these powders work is the first the first three times you drink it, you get a 10% boost. For example, like for health, you know, you go from 1,000 to 1,100 to 1,200 to 1,300, Santa 100, 110, 120, 130. But then after that, the fourth and fifth, and I'm not sure how far because I never went past five on the same stat, but pretty much it gets half in. So now because... Um, you know, on the fourth one, instead of 10%, you get 5%. So now you have 135% of stamina, and then 140 at the fifth one. And I'm not sure if it c decreases any more. I would hope not, but if it does, then I don't have the information at the moment right now because, like I said, I didn't drink past that. So I apologize for not having that information. But moving on. Also, we have, like I said, um, in the attacking moves, we have specials. We have special attack and special grab. Um, there are multiple different move sets for these types, but you can only hold two at a time. They come in these forms of books, which is pretty cool. It's like a like a reading magazine, and like you like learn these move sets, so it's a pretty cool thing. And you only can hold two. Um, there are variants to them, like having the same one in different colors. I am not 100% sure on these two things, but I know it's either or or possibly both, but I'm pretty sure on one side, and that is these variants could give you more damage or use use less stamina. So I'm almost certain about the less stamina um, option. To give it more damage, I'm not too certain. I tried to like find ways where I had the same book, the same stats, and I just really couldn't. But from playing, from my experience, I... I don't really remember seeing my damage being increased by having a different color version of like Cyclone or Azuna um, Drop Stomp or whatever it was called back then and yeah so again that's a little information that I'm a little shaky on so you know that could change or I could just be misleading y'all on that but I know it's between those two. Um, so how the fighting works in this game is pretty much what people or devs call the rock paper sister rock paper scissor system with additions um, at least in this game so attack beats grab grab beats blocking blocking beats attack throwing beats attack and grab and then finally dashing beats everything but that's not it it gets a little more advanced I'm gonna be explaining every like advancement of everything beats what so let's get straight into that so Attack beats all type of grabs. No matter what grab you do, attack would always beat it. A charge attack, which you can like charge it your hand up like a like a karate chop, pretty much. Uh, a beats normal attacks and all grabs. Running attack beats 
attack, charge attack, and all grabs. Special attack, which is the one where you read the book pretty much, beats attack, charge attack, running attack, and all grabs. And then finally, again, this is going to be a little misleading, but jumping attack beats all attacks and all grabs. And the only reason why I'm saying this or I feel confident enough to say this is because jumping attack is like a like a like a oh, I, I'm, I said, again, I'm sorry for these terms but pretty much like an elbow down like drop drop down with an elbow and you know sp the special attack is the only attack that possibly might beat the jumping attack but only a certain a special attack that I think could beat it which would be like the cyclone because it's like a like literally a cyclone attack so I feel like if someone's trying to elbow you know down you and you do that move then it's possible that you know yours will overpower it but majority of the other special attacks I feel like the jumping down will win it just for the fact you are jumping down like you're jumping off a building or you're you, you jump pretty high in this game too so jumping down like you can't really time those special attacks to beat a jump attack so that's why I feel like jumping attack will just beat every type of attack because of that uh, moving on we have grab beats blocking running grab um, beats you know normal grabs and blocking jumping grab only beats blocking because you can't really attack in the air besides you know the jumping attack and then obviously jumping attack beats all grab so you know it beats the jumping grab and then special grab which again reading the book beats grab running grab and blocking and then super grab beats all grabs and blocking what super grab is is like your ultimate you know when you do the little you know pound ground thing you know obviously i'm showing every or gonna try to show every movement um on screen for you and stuff but yeah uh, next we have is weapon attacks beats all um beats all attacks besides blocking and jump attack again i feel like jump attack is the, the most superior attack just for the fact that you can't really time hitting a jump attack like i'll show you like how it looks like there's no way to really time to beat that you know so that's why i feel like it can't be beat but i could be proven wrong when the game drops you know could be wrong but this is just my best way of showing y'all and giving y'all the advantage before the game drops and understanding how to play the game before you know the game drops moving on is weapon grabs now again 50 50 on this one side so is like the what third or fourth information that i'm not 100 percent sure about which is weapon grab beats all grabs blocking and I'm not too sure about attacks. So, you know, attacks supposed to be grab, but the weapon grab isn't really a grab. It's still an attack in a way. But then again, like I said, I could be wrong. Hopefully I can find information or a video that proves that I am wrong. But until then, that would be another um, information that I'm not too aware of. Um, third party attacks. Um, attacks and grabs beats everything so for example if I if me and someone is having a one-on-one -on -one and you come and third party it you stop pretty much our movement and you take over so like example if I grab him and I'm about to do a, like a suplex or something and you come and grab you grab me I'm pretty sure if not if you're doing a normal attack you will break up my move and take over pretty much and leaving one of us out of the being attacked and then yeah um, throwing beats everything besides blocking and dashing so you know thank god throwing isn't that op you can still block from it or dash from it and then finally dashing beats everything no matter what you try to do to somebody if they dash it is avoidable which i think is somewhat cool of an idea could be a little overpowered from at least me playing it and the gameplay that you're seeing in the background if you're paying attention some of the some dashing as you can see is like you get away from everything pretty much but it does take stanima so you know, having more than one person there definitely can screw you over with dashing. Um, and then these are like a little bonuses that I, I ran into when playing a game. Obviously, there's going to be more when the game comes out and when we're looking through more. Um, but apparently, you could have like a double jump movement. Um, I kind of did like a jump twist block thing and I like jumped pretty high in the air. I also did it again here. And as you can see, I went even higher because, you know, I kind of, not say perfected it, but perfected it <laughs> and you know i got even higher after i did like a cool move set like it'd be like a cool disengage uh, move that you could do after you know doing some type of grab move set um next is when you're getting attacked when you're blocking stop blocking and why and the reason why i'm saying this is because when you're blocking and as soon as someone hits you usually they keep on hitting for the three combo because that's how this game is it's like there's three um attack combo as soon as they hit you once even when you let go of blocking you still stay blocking as your character until they stop stop doing the combo or whatever 
so this gives you that one or two seconds of pre-releasing your blocking so you could do your counter play whether it's a grab or an attack right back and then finally the best tip i could give to you man um you know still have fun in this game but just be smart when playing you know um like i said if, you, if you've been keeping up or watching the gameplay in the background you see that i am aggressive but i still play like the blocking role because people are still new to the game like obviously i was still new to the game but you know i pick up i guess a little bit quicker than others and you know every time i you know hit my combo with somebody or do a suplex um on them i will get close to them and block and the reason why is because um there's two ways of getting up in this game it's either you stand up by pressing x or i think just moving around and you like stand up but you're um, vulnerable or invulnerable for like one to two seconds where they can't hit you or grab you and there's a second way to get up where you spin attack and you know it gets them off of them if they're not blocking and you know you do damage to them but you know because everyone's so new to the game people you know would, would do the spin attack so i'm already blocking you stand up and you spin attack guess what now it's my turn to get the free hit and do it all over again and yeah man um this is like i would say the number one the number one tips and tricks in this game right now because it's the only <laughs> tips and tricks in this game because the game is not being released until february 8th tuesday so um, Future Bugsy here again. Um, yeah, the game is not gonna go to early access on February eighth anymore. Um, they decided to delay the game. If you don't know this by now, I apologize. Um, but there will be a play test for PC players only on the twelfth. So from this video dropping, I think in a week you could play the game, but only for two hours. Again, I know pain. Um, but yeah, we don't have a release date yet. But if we do, you know, um, you'll hear it in this video. If it's out before this video gets out, but if you're hearing this, then that means we didn't get an announcement yet. <laughs> Alright, continue. In three more days, guys, so hopefully, you know, you stumble upon this video before the game release. Give you that, you know, that little competitive advantage over your friends and people uh, when the game drops. And hopefully you enjoy the video, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. Comment anything. You know, I love your comments. Comments, you know, when the game drops. And if I was wrong about something, say, no, you were wrong about this, blah, 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 blah. Because I'm definitely going to make another one. Um when we get more information after playing the game and you know making a 100% <laughs> correct um, tips and tricks video and also if it's your first time ever watching my videos don't forget to subscribe button guys and I'm out peace yeah, she got a man she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state moved to LA cause she wanna be famous got another five on the side she a waitress but it's getting tough hard to find back